Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to click on the Import Keyword Data tab and we're going to use the Universal Keyword Importer tool to basically import our data into DWS. Now, we have multiple tools that we've mapped out that allow you to import keyword data into DWS and what we need to do is you need to import a comma delimited CSV file. That's a .csv file and it must be comma delimited, not tab delimited, but comma delimited and you must make sure that it, it is saved as a comma delimited file. Um, if the imports don't work, open up your CSV file in Excel, select comma delimited file and then resave it and that will make the file work. If it still doesn't work then there must be a problem with uh, the way you've mapped out your tool. So I'll show you how easy it is. I'm going to basically import permaculture design as a keyword. I've got this keyword data from Kraken and it's from the, the vertical online market analysis screen and I'm going to import these keywords. And literally within a few seconds we'll have all the keywords into DWS. I come back to my keyword tool, I select Crack and Verma again, I get my permaculture design courses and I open it up and I import it. Now the way the importer works is it imports the keywords and it never allows duplicate keywords to come through. So the first keyword that gets in basically is kept. Any duplicates get thrown out, which is great because when you're importing your data from multiple sources, um, often you get rollovers like we're doing design, design course, permaculture courses, classes. We try in different variations of keywords and we start importing them in. When we finish doing our importing of all the keywords we're interested in looking at, what we'll find is uh, we have a nice data set of unique keywords that we can use for mapping out our silo blueprints. So once again I'll show you just shortly how I've done this. Click browse, there's a few more I want to do. I don't want to go to permaculture. Let's take car design courses. Uh, stick that in there and we'll import that in. And within a few seconds we've got 42 keywords we can work with and use to start mapping out our silo structured website. Okay, so in the next vis uh, video we're going to look at the business rules and we're going to basically look at how the keywords work and how we can use the rules to find the best possible marketing mix before we start mapping out our silo structured site.